Hello, my friends. <laughs> this video is going to be in partnership with Wix. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring me. But in today's video, I wanted to show you how I take photos of my products and originals for my shop and how I create my shop listings and put it all together. And once you're watching this, the, my shop will be live linked down in the description on my website. I just wanted to show you how I personally take my shop pictures, my product photos. When I take my shop photos, one place to start is to bring a ton of props that match the vibe of whatever items you're selling so that your shop listing has some interest and it looks kind of cute. So I had a lot of jewelry and then a lot. I have a ton of glasses. So I pulled a couple of my pairs of glasses into the shot as well as some notebooks, paper, tea, loose leaf. I've also brought some herbs, some cooking herbs just for the vibe so that everything looked really cute. Home photos can be really cute for listings. It's just a very down to earth look. I've taken photos with like my professional camera before and that's okay, it's up to you how you shoot, but if you don't have a huge camera, this might be encouraging to you because you could just use your phone. So once you set everything up in your flat lays to look good, you, you should take photos that are close-ups showing that product in action. So if it's a sticker, how what it looks like on a notebook or on a piece of paper. And if you're taking photos of originals, make sure to highlight any details like paint strokes. You wanna make sure that you're giving your customer an accurate representation of what they're going to be purchasing. So don't deceive them, show them the size, what it actually looks like. So you can always sell a B grade of something. If you have pins that didn't turn out so good, you could always sell a B grade that has like, they have tiny flaws for discounted price. So whenever you have a shop, make sure that you're being honest with what you're selling. Of course, it does not need to be said, but um, it's better than somebody receiving something that doesn't look like what they thought it was going to be and then being upset you have your photos edited i just edited in visco they've turned out cute so who cares but if you take your product photos on a good camera you can edit in lightroom whatever you would like to do so now that we have all of the photos together we can put them into our actual website i will have two videos linked down in the description that are about creating a website with wix and then some tips that i have for creating a website in general but we are going to just put all of that information into our online shop the left toolbar is intuitive when you're designing and moving things around in your layout. There are so many good resources and options for your website, such as analytics, design choices, apps that you can use to streamline any admin work that you have to do. There are also great analytics for who visits your website and how long they spend on the site. There are great options in the toolbar, both for design and for streamlining your process. I think one of the craziest things about Wix is that you can so quickly just add a store to your website. There are little, you know, bits here and there that you have to put in information into, like your tax information, your card information, some verification for your emails. But overall, you can just click a button and add an online store to your page. I want to show you how I'm going to create the listings on this very new page. First off, we're going to create a new product. It's going to be a physical product, but you can actually sell digital products like brushes in Wix. And the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna add the photos that I took. They're already in my uploaded media, so I'm gonna pick those all up and put them into my actual editor. So I'm gonna move everything around just to make sure that I have like my cover photo and then I have them all in the order that I want them to be in. I want a hero image and then some other helpful kind of images. For the info you wanna put into your stickers, you want to like say what it's called. So obviously there's a, a name for the sticker and then you also want to put the dimensions of whatever, it doesn't have to be a sticker, whatever product that you are putting up for sale. You wanna give the dimensions so somebody can be informed as to what they are purchasing and I like to put in how long a customer can expect for the products to be shipped. So I put in business days because I try not to work on the weekend. So I say five to 10 business days because that's probably a realistic timeline of when I can get to it. You can do this in different places. I'll have it in an info section. I can have that return information immediately available. Even though it's garish, I like to actually put in this return information so it's clearly visible for whoever is purchasing for me. So I like people to know exactly how I'm going to deal with a return or a damaged order. Order. You can avoid headaches or like PayPal claims later on. Next, I'll put in the price of the item. So $3 for a sticker. And you can either have a unlimited inventory or you can track your inventory, which is fantastic. I put in 40 stickers because this is my first shop update for a while. I'm hoping it's all gonna go well. And so I just have my inventory be pretty low. But if it 
does well, I'll just order more products. I also wanted to show you another cool thing that Wix does as well as show you how I put in my originals. What you can do is you can click on a listing that you have already created and then you can save that listing and duplicate it. So you have two of the same listing, which is fantastic. You don't have to put in all of that same information, the return information and the order and all of that. So what I do is I replace the images that I already have. Obviously I want two separate listings. And so for this one, I have an oil painting. I'm gonna swap out those photos of the oil painting with my drawing. <laughs> I drew Timothy Chalamet and I'm gonna just put it up for sale selling Timmy. If you want to purchase him, he will be linked in my shop. Then you're going to see that your name is still going to be a copy of whatever listing you duplicated. Just have to change the name of that listing, but the information will all be the exact same. So I tweaked it since this isn't an oil painting, but it is exactly the same size. I'm just going to say what type of paper it's drawn on and have everything else be basically the same. The only caveat that I have on my original works is that because the original, if it arrives damaged, I can't do anything about it. I can't send you another one. And so for my originals, they are final sale. So once you have your listings, what I did was duplicated them, put in the appropriate photos and dimensions, and that was it. It's super easy to create listings on Wix. What I will also do is actually put my originals, my stickers, whatever I'm selling into collections so that you can filter your search results and either just look at originals or just look at stickers. In this case, I'm not selling prints in this shop update. You just put them all in their little designated cubby and they're good to go. I've also turned on back in stock requests, which I've never done before, but this lets the customer, so you could put in a request, you know, extra stock of something. And if I get enough requests, I'll just order more stock of that. So I've never used this before. I'm excited to try it out and see how it all works, but I'm going to be collecting requests, which is exciting. Once I collect my listings, I want to make sure that my shop looks good. And so I will click through the preview and make sure that everything, you know, is working properly with the user interface and that everything kind of looks good. One thing I noticed was that my return information was the very first thing that you saw and then the actual product description was under the listing. So what I did was I played around with the actual layout a bit and came out with something that worked for me. I changed the buttons, what each function will do, and I also added a buy now function, just if there's the shop update and they wanna buy just an original quickly, making sure that it doesn't sell out, you could just buy now, which is convenient. Another important thing is to write a basic little blurb in your SEO so that when somebody Googles your shop that you come up and maybe something else doesn't come up first. And so I put a lot of keywords that somebody would type out to look at my shop so that they can all be there and my SEO, my search engine optimization will be greater. What I put in my SEO was my name, shop, and then I put original stickers, things that somebody would actually click on to look for me. Another really important thing to keep in mind is what you're going to look like on mobile. Most people, if they're on Instagram, they can do a quick click of the link. They're going to be on their phone. So you wanna make sure that you are optimized for mobile so somebody doesn't have the hardest time being on your website. And so when I turned on my mobile, it was a little bit jacked up. It didn't look how I wanted it to, but it was super easy to put everything in its place and figure out how to make it all look good and user-friendly. I really liked the layout of what the shop listings look like. And when you're scrolling through the listings how they appear. So I played around with the layout on mobile and came out with something that I thought was pretty user-friendly and streamlined. Once you have your layout and your listings, all of that done, you want to make sure that you are set up for payments. There are many different types of payments that you can set up. I have basically all payments except cash or check set up. So I have PayPal, Apple Pay, credit cards, debit cards. You can also have Stripe. I recommend you get Stripe so that you can get credit card um, purchases. When you put in shipping prices, it's good to weigh out your items and know how much shipping costs in the US and internationally. And so for the US, it's pretty standard, pretty flat flat rate for me when I ship. If it's something that's bigger, that's more than like $4 because that's my flat rate for the US. I'll kind of factor it into the price of that heavier item. I'll add like another two or three dollars to that actual price of the item. Easy to figure that out rather than have to change the shipping prices greatly based on weight. I know that's really lazy and I probably should be a little bit better about it, but that's the way that it works for me. Maybe it'll work for you too. And the, what I do is I also offer free shipping for orders over $150 on my shop and orders over $200 internationally. Nationally, there is free shipping. That's all confusing, I know, but 
that's how it is. I also will go in to check that my order confirmation email all makes sense and looks cute so that it's not confusing whenever it's sent over. You can also send automations. If somebody leaves an item in their cart, you can send them an email or a coupon code, whatever you would like to. I personally didn't have anything set up yet just because I haven't opened my shop in such a long time. So I'm not exactly sure what will happen. Once I see how many people are ordering or how many people are leaving things in their cart, then I might send in automations or coupons. It's a good feature to know that is there. And then the last super useful tool that I want to recommend in Wix is their automated tax function you put in with Avalara. You can put in all of your business information so that it can calculate the digital tax on goods wherever you are located. I think it's a really nifty feature, especially since you don't have to worry about figuring out the math. My shop will be open for two weeks, so take advantage of that. It's going to be linked down in the description. It will have stickers and originals. I might add more originals in these two weeks, so make sure to go check on it. Appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Either check out my shop or start your own shop. Subscribe. I put out new videos every single week. I've been doing it pretty consistently. Thank you so much to Wix for helping me create my shop and my website. You can head over to the link in my description to create your own website with Wix.